I'm just uh, hanging out with Chad on the street, and he's actually on free time right now. And I have somebody positioned with a dog behind the car, going to pop out right in front of us. He has uh, formerly had a big problem seeing other dogs and different distractions on the street when he was being walked. So I just want to show you how he is now after his training and then explain to you what to do in these situations. So pop on out there, Sue. Come on out with Chip and let him be free. Give him six feet. See how Chet is? Come. He was about to come to me. I, we picked a kind of a, a very rambunctious dog that would be very animated just to show you a a good case here. I didn't say come that time, he just came to me. Good. So it's because I practiced calling him away from distractions a bunch of times. Maybe, you know, dozens, dozens and dozens of times so that now this situation triggers him to turn away from the distraction. Chet's here on the street hanging out. Can you show the little girl right there? Yeah. So we, we have distractions everywhere. But even with, with children or people, come. Just practice calling him away. Good. Calling him away from distractions, keeping this leash loose. You, you see exactly how I'm doing it. I'm keeping the leash loose. Come. Feet. Good. If he's noticing something, then I'm calling him away from it, whether it's a dog or a uh, little kid that would just popped out of nowhere and ran over past us or whatever it is because you never want him to go back to doing what he used to do which is to pull his walker around to be aggressive and bark at other dogs <clears throat> to act just generally out of control and crazy when he sees distractions good boy so now the new behavior is to notice a distraction no matter what it is and turn away like he's doing with his dog good and reward him exactly as you see me doing it. So what am I doing? I got my the leash in my left hand. Good. I reach into my pouch where I've got my natural balance sausage. This is the lamb flavor that he loves. And I'm there to meet him. I don't even have to say come anymore because we practice it so much. He'll just do it on his own and all I have to do is just say good and I can even pet him when he does the right makes the right choice when we come into this situation. We've been out here for maybe five minutes and I've kept the leash loose. We're really close to this dog now. Now, the kicker is, you can get Chet to like a lot of dogs. Good boy. Um, but they all have to be fr fairly friendly. He's not gonna warm up to a dog that is insecure, uh, barking at him, being really crazy, or is aggressive. So if you're gonna intro him to other dogs or have him near other dogs like this on the street, you have to um, have dogs that are friendly with other dogs because that will trigger him to be aggressive eventually. So if you encounter those dogs right away, you call them to come and just get them out of there because most dogs aren't going to take kindly to some dog on a leash wanting to go after them. But you see how Chet now is on the street when he meets a dog, when he sees a dog he doesn't know and uh, we were surprised by him. And you see how I've been handling him, so just you can watch this video as much as you want. Keep that leash loose, practice your come, call him away, good. And you can do what I've been doing if you have a friend that has a dog and stand in the general vicinity of the other dog and, and practice exactly what you've seen me do here. Or you can just call him to come and keep moving on, on your walk, either way. But just remember that tension on the leash, like this and this, or letting him pull you, any of that kind of stuff, over time can cause stress, which can lead to leash aggression, which he used to have, and also allowing the dog to continuously stare, and this kind of stuff, letting him pull and stare at the same time, can lead, in many cases, to leash aggression, and he used to be this, this way, to have leash aggression, so we'd never want to do that and have him go back to doing that again. It would take a lot of pulling and a lot of mishandling to have him go back to that, but we just want to make sure it's super clear on how to handle them, what to do, and what not to do. And we're, that's why we videoed it, but we've also talked to you about it as well. So um, you've got a lot to work with here. Good boy. He's pretty good these days. And uh, good boy. You just keep it up and he'll always be good.